Here's a new method for making a great moist banana bread. Banana bread is something we all love. Oftentimes though, the day after starts to look unappealing. The banana pieces start to discolor and your fresh banana bread starts to look like something you made two weeks ago. Not only is this new technique super quick and easy, but the bananas get evenly distributed among the batter, giving your cake an overall better texture, better color, better flavor, and she's gonna look pretty even in the days to come. So let's make my one minute blender banana bread, kindly sponsored by Word Farm Adventure. As promised, we're gonna whip up the batter using a blender. Into a large blender, add two bananas. The more ripe, the more flavorful the banana bread. Along with the bananas goes the yogurt, which will yield a very soft, moist banana bread. Add two eggs, melted butter, and you're going to blend this mixture on high for about 10-15 seconds. The reason we blend the wet ingredients first is to break down the bananas before adding the flour. If you were to add the ingredients all at once, chances are not only will those bananas not break down properly, but you'll most likely end up over mixing the flour. By the way, the full written recipe will be on my website. And if you're new to my channel, hello there! Welcome! Make sure to subscribe and click that bell. I post new videos every week. Add the sugar, flour, baking soda, salt. Feel free to add vanilla, cinnamon. I'm a basic... I like mine plain. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna go with that. I like mine plain. I like mine as is. Blend again on medium high just for about 8 to 10 seconds. Do not over blend this. Please count the seconds. As strange as that sounds, you want to count them. If the flour doesn't blend in with the batter, give your blender a little shake. Finish mixing it by hand, but do not be tempted to continue blending this. Now how easy was that? This took one minute to whip up just like my other blender cakes. You'll probably have some flour on the sides of the blender. Just take a spatula and finish mixing the batter by hand. Scrape the sides, the bottom to make sure everything is well combined and you're going to transfer your batter into a greased and lined with parchment paper 8x4 loaf pan. Add some chocolate chips if you like and you're going to bake this baby in a preheated oven at 170 degrees Celsius or 340 Fahrenheit for about 50 minutes to an hour. And halfway through baking, if you see the banana bread start to brown too much, you can cover it with some foil. Now when I'm not baking, I'm taking care of my farm and man. I wish. <laughs> okay. I recently started playing Word Farm Adventure and let me tell you, I've been loving this game. I haven't done crossword puzzles since I was a kid and this has brought back so many memories. What I love about this game though is that it's not your typical word puzzle game. You get to fix up your own farm, design your dream house. It's the perfect combination of thinking skills and fun. There's a lot of levels to choose from and amazing locations to fix up. The more levels you win, the more tasks you get to complete and the more areas as you get to rebuild and I think that's what I like most about this game the decorating and remodeling it's so much fun here I was just choosing which balloons to put in my county fair which lights to put up in the entryway I was decorating my patio of my mansion with some flowers I would love to see your dream home and how you decorated your area for word farm adventure is free to play it's available on Android and iOS and you can download it for free using my link in the description box below so download it today I'm telling you it's a a cute game. Something I really wanted to show you in this video is how to clean the blender. You're probably thinking, why do I need to see that? Well, it's because a lot of people were complaining. How do you clean the blender? It's, it's, it's not how do you clean the blender, but... <laughs> But it's a hassle to clean your blender. Okay, excuse the dirty sink, by the way. So, I thought everybody knew this trick, but apparently you don't. And I need to show it to you because when I was shown this trick, I was amazed, okay? The, the days and months of my life that I lost, you know, cleaning out my blender. <laughs> Nobody's going to give them back to me, okay? So, anyway, just add water and soap to your blender. Blend away. Rinse it out. And boom. That's it. Clean as a new blender. At the 50 minute mark, do the toothpick test. If it's not clean, just leave it for another 5-10 minutes. You're going to let the cake cool in the pan for about 10 minutes and then remove it or you're going to get a soggy banana bread. And nobody wants a soggy banana bread. This looks absolutely gorgeous. Because we pureed the banana super finely, it gets evenly distributed throughout the batter, giving you this gorgeous color. And flavor-wise, it's delicious. I don't need banana bread with a fork. This is just to show you how tender this banana bread is. I hope you'll make it. You won't be disappointed. It's amazing. Before you go, remember to download Word Farm Adventure today and start building your dream house, your dream farm. The link will be in the description box below.